Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Oh, this one smells good. This is oaky, very oaky. A little floral in there. A little wintergreen. Some sweet cinnamon, not candy cinnamon. A lot of vanilla. A little grape. I usually get that on Jefferson's. Yeah, I get that on Jefferson's and maybe Corner Creek. Interesting. You get I don't that get Corner Creek too. Any alcohol. Nothing? At all on the nose. Hmm. Interesting. I get a little Apple Jacks. What was that? Apple-y and cinnamon-y candy I was saying. That's fitting. Honey after it opens up. It's like strong honey. Barrel-aged honey. Just because of the wood in there. That wood just does not go away. Is there even such a thing as barrel-aged yes, honey? Or you just very make good. it up? It is very good. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Okay. Good sniffing, good yeah. sniffing. How's the tasting? I can't stop smelling this one. That's hard for me not to give that a perfect score. Big old gulp. Good grief. Yeah, but I'm feeling sorry for it, too. That's higher <laughs> proof. I didn't get any alcohol on the nose. <laughs> But it's so good, it makes my mouth water. Mm. My glands are salivating right now. You say that every time you drink this. Really? Yeah. Has a ton of spice at first. Um, sweet cinnamon, floral, ton of vanilla. Very oaky, but not as strong as the nose was. A little black pepper coats the whole mouth. A little rye in the back. I get that aftertaste and that when you eat toast and you breathe in, you can feel it. I get yeah. that in there too. Rye toast. He's Almost like a burnt toast. slice of toast. There's a lot of tannins, a lot of I bitterness can, I can in there. I feel that, yeah. Which I'm not complaining about that at all. No, it's good. It works. Um, It's a little leathery. I get that slight mint that comes through. I can taste it like on the sides of my tongues. I'm not sure if the taste buds are over there for some reason for something like that. Maybe, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I like it. I'm going to give that a 9. That is absolutely great. I'm appalled. Okay, which brings us to the finish. Um, it's not as good as the nose and the... Taste. And the taste was, it's a little shorter than I want it to be. Okay. It does stick around for a little while, but the oaky and bitterness and floral in there a little bit doesn't really fade. But when it does, it turns into a lot of vanilla, that vanilla aftertaste, like creamy vanilla. If you just eat ice cream and you get that aftertaste for a while, that's kind of what it's like. Okay. fairly long. Um, it's a little too thin on the mouthfeel, but it does make you salivate and I'm drooling. Ugh. I am going to give that a 3.75. Wish it was a little bit better, but okay. if that's the only real flaw in this, I'm okay with that because it tastes great. Now the look is, that's dark. What is, oof, that's dark. What would you say that is, like a mahogany? I would say it's like a honey toasted mahogany. That's not a thing. Well, it is now. I'm going to say it's like a varnished mahogany. Sure. Like a mahogany <laughs> dresser. I Shiny. What is that? Stain. Mahogany stain. We'll go there. 
Um, He's a professional, guys. I okay. guess. A few very thick legs. A couple thin ones. It has that nice speed line. Yeah. Though. They don't move mm -mm. at all. That looks They thick. say, boop, boom, and they just sit there. Uh, starting to move. Oh, there it goes. It's been sitting there the whole video. But oh, that's crazy. Yeah. They're like syrup. It's yeah. crazy. Um, I think a little bit darker would show a little bit more age. It's not the perfect color. I think a slightly darker would be a little bit nicer. I'll give it a 2.25. Okay. Any guesses? I guessed Rowan's Creek in 90 to 100 proof. I'm not sure. Proof correct. I don't I remember don't Rowan's Creek being that dark though. Nope, it's definitely not. Are you ready for your reveal? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's right next to me. Right next to you. Very easy. Cooper's access. craft. Cooper's. 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 You know what a Cooper is? You told me, I forgot. They're the guys that build the barrels. A oh, Cooperage is where go. the barrels are made. Okay, so. This was crafted from ideas from Brown Foreman's Cooperage, which is interesting because. They have two different ones. I don't. The other one was like beechwood or something. Finished or charcoal. This one they groove the inside of the barrel so there's a lot more contact from the liquid. Chiseled and charred. Yeah. So they had a heavy char, and inside the barrel it was like cut out and deeper. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're trying to do a dance move, but only your finger is moving. <laughs> so it get it pretty much doubles the amount of juice that is in contact with the wood. Right, so more of it comes in contact with it. Um, so this is seventy-seven percent corn, thirteen um, percent eighteen. Oh, 18? If it's um, or seventy-two percent. Sorry, seventy-two percent corn, eighteen percent. No, it was seventy-seven, th thirteen, and ten. I don't, I think it's 72, 18, 10, because isn't that a... 72, 18, 10. That's what yeah. I said. Oh, oh, he was right. 72% corn, 18... And you looked it up? <laughs> percent rye and 10% malted barley. So that is the standard brown form in Old Forester mash bill. Yes. You should know this by now. I know. Your favorite distillery. So, this, look at that slow move. Yeah, I guess some legs in the bottle. <laughs> um... So there's not an age statement on this, but it's said to be at least four plus years old. If it's four, they did gained great so things. much with that barrel. <laughs> yeah. Six, um, I could see six. Yeah. But if it's four, they're doing Man. some great things over there. That is a hundred proof. I did not know that. Yes. So talking about the bottle. I love the shape. It's so different. I do too. It's thick. It's the label's kind of cool. I really don't mind this. Mm-mm. I when we went down south, I was looking for Cooper's Craft, and I found. I don't know where the other bottle went. Right in front of your face. Oh, that. so I didn't know about that one, and I found this, and I was talking to somebody. They're like, "Yeah, that one's okay, but you got to find the hundred proof." And I'm like, "What? Higher, higher proof? I will definitely try that. I haven't opened this one yet, though." I am so glad I found one of those. I wish I would have bought all of them. I know. I'm mad. We're going to go down south again. This is one of my favorite bourbons right now. I know. Can and you it tell? reminds me a lot of early times bottled and bond, which I'm pretty sure is the same mash bill too, which is also brown forming. So what do you give the bottle? Two. Two? I like it a lot. 86. 86. Surprisingly, I'm a little disappointed. I am too. I thought you'd be at least in the 90s. I thought that would be my whiskey of the year, to well, tell you the truth. it might be, but, you know. No, that's not high enough. <sighs> Great score. It is good bourbon. It is very easy to drink. It's very palate cleansing. It's just... Almost gone. It's almost gone. But it is very good, and it is very worth it. It's what we would pay for, did we... No, this was like 30. 30? Yeah. Maybe it was even cheap. a little I less. I remember than it was 30. cheap. I, I would think it was pay 32, I think. 60, 75 bucks for this. Shh. 
I they don't let Ron Foreman hear that, but that is severely underpriced. It's very good. If you guys see this, definitely pick it up and try it. If you've tried the other one, let us know what you think the difference is. I'm sure this one probably tastes better just because of the proof um, dependent. Yeah, but... they don't chisel and char the other barrel yeah. like this one. So they're going to be really different. I'm excited to crack that other one open, but we're trying to get rid of some bottles first. Yeah, so this one's going to get rid of soon. Someone has to stop buying them. No. First. You buy them. You egg me on on buying them. <gasps> Never. Anything else you'd like to add? Liar. Oh, Jack Daniels Heritage. You better go get the other one. There's only one more. <gasps> when you find a bottle and then you find out there's only one other one, you gotta get Side the backup. Note, same Company? Cooperage that... No, Jack Daniels has their own Cooperage, but they are brown foreman. Oh, there you go. Anything else you'd like to add, Dictionary? No. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. Cooper's Craft, 100 proof. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share it to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching!